I wanted to pull out my phone and just secretly record and be like, this is how they really talk when they are alone. <laughs> After a show a long time ago, you may or may not remember, your colleague from Princeton University, afterwards, we were sitting around and you guys got into this discussion about the true size of the universe. And I tried to follow it. But then you went down a geek hole that was so deep <laughs> geek hole. <laughs> that I was just like, what the hell? There are two different measurements of the age of the universe. One of them comes from supernovae. Supernovas have commonality among them. You see where one explodes. How bright does it get? How quickly does it drop off in brightness? You calibrate that. You can get a distance to that supernova. Okay, and by virtue of the expansion rate of the universe, you get an age of the universe. There's another method you get by observing the cosmic microwave background. It does not use supernova. Each of those are highly precise methods, yet they do not agree with each other on the size or the age of the universe. That's a problem. It's a scientific problem. It's unresolved at this point. Last I checked, we don't, we can't resolve the difference between these two methods.